what's going on guys? It's Max Max 24 and March is over. We are now in April. Time is just flying by this year and with a new month flying by that means a new haul video. The show where I show you all of the movies, video games, books, pop figures that I picked up in the month of March. Let me know what you picked up in the month. Let me know what you like that I really picked up. But before we get into that, please always remember to drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell friends, and all that jazz. All the fun stuff, all the YouTubers, tell you guys to do. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I upload most on Twitter and TikTok. Sometimes on Facebook, barely on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, subscribe to me here. And with that, let's get into my monthly haul video. So we're going to start right off with the movies. I picked up a decent amount of movies, some weird ones. I went to thr I went thrift shopping, and they had a bunch of Blu-rays. Somebody got rid of their Blu-ray collection, so that's why they have some of these. But overall, I think it was a pretty good month of movie pickups. First up... We got Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. This is a DreamWorks movie. I grew up loving Captain Underpants. I love the character. I love the comics. I read like every single book. I just loved it. Tra la la. It stuck in my head. Seriously, love Captain Underpants. I was so excited when DreamWorks made a Captain Underpants movie because this this is my childhood. This is my childhood, and this movie is actually a pretty good time. It's your typical DreamWorks type movie and it's fun it's got beautifully animated it's got an interesting story I want to see more Captain Underpants movies but they decided to make a TV show instead so I don't think we're gonna get another movie but I'd love to see more movies please give me give me more Captain Underpants movies next up this is an upgrade Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End I have this in DVD so I was like hmm this is two dollars three dollars I'll pick it up on blu-ray I'm trying to upgrade some of my collection because I've gotten some old DVDs that are a little dusty, a little crusty, and now I want to give them Blu-rays and 4K overhauls, and this is one of the Blu-ray overhauls. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy. I don't count the last two as part of the series. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, At World's End, and Dead Man's Chest are all really, really good movies, I think. I think they're a lot of fun. They're probably some of the most fun pirate movies we've gotten, and Johnny Depp just does a great job in it. So I was really happy to be able to upgrade this. Next up, I picked up Jack Black's Goosebumps. Now, this was a th in a thrift store, so it was a thrift store find. It's Goosebumps. I mean, they made a sequel. If you like Jack Black, if you like Goosebumps, you know, I don't know what more to say about it. It's not a great movie. It's not a fantastic movie. It's a fun movie, though. Then I picked up The Imitation Game. This is a real-life story. It, I think it was nominated for an Oscar when it got came out yeah i believe best picture so i watched it then it was really good really good i really enjoyed it benedict cumberpatch is a fantastic actor you know most people just know him from the dutch strange but he does a lot of cool things he's really good and this movie i think is a really good movie i think it's a lot of fun to watch it's you know heartfelt it's tragic it's just it's just good it's just good then i picked up hulk this is one of the really really old hulk movies it was another thrift store find and i'm like hmm gotta complete my marvel collection so i believe this hulk guy cameoed in the incredible hulk movie but yeah this is a really really old hulk movie it has nothing to do with the mcu nothing to do with the hulk we know today but it's part of history so it's part of the collection then i picked up midnight in paris midnight in paris is another it's like an artsy fartsy romantic movie time travel or something i don't know i watched it when it first came out haven't watched it in a long time but this was at the thrift store too and i'm like I'm going to add it to my collection because I remember liking it when it first came out. Don't really remember much about it now, but maybe I'll have to give it another watch. Then I picked up Sing 2, Illumination's newest movie. Illumination is a mixed bag. They're really hit or miss. They really like their minions. They really like Despicable Me. They they make a lot of a lot of movies. Sing 2 is actually a surprise to me, though. I enjoyed Sing 1, and I was like, hmm, Sing 2? Okay, I guess we're making 2. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than Sing 1. I thought it had a lot of heart. I thought it was really good. You know, it was actually a surprising movie. Now, the reason I bought this is because I have all the Illumination movies. And if I didn't own Sing 2, then I wouldn't have all the Illumination movies. And I had to fix that. So now I have all the Illumination movies again. It's a good movie. Good animated movie. Good fun for about two hours, an hour and a half. So, you know, you'll enjoy it if you like Illumination or pop music or animals. And then I picked up Mad Max Fury Road. This was a $5 Blu-ray at... Target, I've been meaning to pick this up for a while. I wanted to look for the 4K, but the 4K is, like, really expensive. So I picked up the Blu-ray instead. Mad Max Fury Road, fantastic movie. Fantastic effects, you know, driving back and forth. Love it. They put a lot of heart and soul into this movie. It was it was really well done, I think. I mean, Mad Max in general, most of those movies are pretty well done. You know, I, this, I don't know why we've been waiting so long for a sequel, though. It seems like we should have had a sequel, like, a while ago. Like, what's going on there? Come on now. Then I picked up West Side Story. 
This is the newest version of this classic musical Romeo and Juliet type of story. It's good. It's really good. The performances are really strong. The choreography is really strong. The cinematography is really strong. Steven Spielberg does a really good job. Some of the acting, you know, Ansel Elgort, he's in it, I guess, so I have to deal with that. But the movie overall, I think, is a really good musical, right? And this is a Target exclusive edition, so it's got some art and stuff in it, which is cool. I feel like an old person when I buy a movie like this, but that's okay. I'll allow it. Then finally for movies, I picked up Rise of the Guardians, another DreamWorks movie. And this movie is just a ton of fun, all right? This movie doesn't get enough credit. It doesn't get the credit it deserves. It's like the Avengers, but for uh, the fairy tale creatures. Like, we got Jack Frost, we got Santa Claus, we got, like, Sandman, we got a bunch of characters. It's, it's just fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm so sad they never made a sequel to this. You know, it could have been a really good. And if you have not seen Rise of the Guardians, go see Rise of the Guardians. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, those are all the movies that I picked up in the month of March. Now let's get into the video games. And a lot of these are just things to fill out my collection because I'm a collector. I like buying movie video games to fill out a collection. I've played a lot of these already. I've played them virtually, digitally, you know, on PC or something. And I see them cheap on Blu-ray. And I'm like, I have to add that to my uh, Blu-ray. And physical, that's what I mean, physical. I see them cheap for physical and I'm like, I gotta add those to my collection. So we got Battlefront 2, EA's Battlefront 2. I needed all the EA Battlefront games. Battlefront 2 was the last one I didn't own physically. It's a good game. It really is. It's a really good game. It was horrible at launch. EA was... I don't know what they were doing with that at launch, but since then it became a really, really good game. A really strong game. It, it's got a lot of fun gameplay elements in it. All right, Playing as, as Capital Supremacy. It's just so much fun. Clones versus droids. It's what you've always wanted. This game is as close to the old Battlefront 2 as we're going to get nowadays. And I really liked it. I want to see what DICE will do with a Battlefront 3. Then I got Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. The latest Borderlands game. I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's a spinoff of the Borderlands series set in a D&D type universe with Tiny Tina as the DM. It's a lot of fun. It's really funny. Tiny Tina's a great character. The world they create is great. It's the first one that you actually get to create your own playable character, which is a lot of fun. And there's like multi-specking, multi-classing. And it's actually pretty in-depth. It's the only one rated T, too, which is wild. But I'm really enjoying Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. It's a great game for Borderlands fans and for non-Borderlands fans because it's the most fresh and the most new and the most different of the Borderlands games. So check it out. Then this is another... Collection filler, Assassin's Creed Unity. I've, I've played through every single Assassin's Creed game, but I didn't own Unity physically. Now I do. Now I own all the Assassin's Creed games physically. Unity is all right. It was... It created a good world. Um, it cr had good uh, graphics. It had good, you know, a, a decent story, but there was a lot going on behind the scenes. It just wasn't good about this game, all right? Especially the way it launched. It was just not in a launchable state at all and the, it was a very heavily multiplayer focused which i didn't like but overall unity is a decent addition to the series you know not an amazing one not a horrible one it's just it's mediocre at best then i picked up modern warfare 2 this is i had i had this already i already did but i lost it i don't know what happened to it so i just needed to add it to my collection because i didn't know what happened to it so modern warfare 2 is one of the best call of duties you've ever made Fantastic story, fantastic gameplay, fantastic maps. Really good game. Really good game. Then I picked up Deadpool. Deadpool is an older game that came out on the 360, of course. It was actually really funny. It was really funny. People really liked it. This was before the Deadpool movie. This was before Deadpool was played by Ryan Reynolds. This game was actually a lot of fun. Now, sadly... There were some licensing issues going on between Marvel and Activision, so it got delisted. The really only way you can buy it is from a physical copy, so I'm so happy I could find a physical copy. This game's so much fun. It's hilarious. It's just absolutely hilarious. Then finally for games, it's another um, collection filler. We got Halo 4. I don't know where my Halo 4 copy went, so now we got Halo 4 again. It's an alright game. It's not the best of the Halos. The original Halo trilogy is the best, but it's a decent game. It's a decent game. Those are all the games that I picked up in the month of March. Now let's get into the pop figures. And for the pop figures, I picked up two. And they're both Pokemon pop figures. I love the Pokemon pop figures. They're so detailed. They're amazing. And these ones are just as amazing. And look at, look at, they got the little spoons he's holding. Look at Lucario's with his fist out. These are great pops. I love the Pokemon pops. And then finally, let's get into the 
books I picked up, and I picked up one book this- uh -oh, uh -oh. Everything's falling, everything's falling. That is Sylvanas, the latest World of Warcraft novel. I love the World of Warcraft world, I love the novels, I love the lore, and this story is all about Sylvanas Renrunner and her complete story, which finally saw a finale in the latest patch. I can't wait to dive into this. I'm currently reading American Gods, but after that, I'm going to be jumping right into this, and I can't wait. It looks, it sounds so good. So good. I, Sylvanas Renrunner is such an interesting character. They did her a little bit dirty in Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands, but overall, a very interesting character. But yeah, that is all of the stuff I picked up in the month of March. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know what stuff I picked up that you really want to get your hands on. And I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all jazz, all the fun stuff, us, Jupiter, tell you guys to do, follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. I upload most on Twitter and TikTok, sometimes on Facebook, barely on Instagram, follow me, please subscribe to me here. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video.